That is asinine once you have unclouded your mind, once you have put your belief system down, once you have given yourself the permission to raise your thinking ability. Once you do that, you can see how off the chain asinine this is. And the second part of that title is do as the governing body does, not as they say. This is a prime example of that. Do what they're doing and see what happens to your life. See what happens to your confidence. See what happens to your self-esteem. Take control. There's that word again. Control. This time you take control of your life. You take control of your mind, your thoughts, and watch good health, clarity, happiness, wholeness, and the money will soon follow. Ladies and gentlemen, I know this is a truncated version of um, the JW Free Podcast this week, but it was just on my mind to to start, as I told you guys in previous weeks, to start expanding the conversation. And I'm choosing money, and I'm probably going to sit on it for a while for the very reason I've been talking to you about. We've been made to see it as a bad thing. We've been made to see it as a boogeyman. We've been made to see or or made to believe that turning down opportunity and prosperity is something that will take you away from God or your Bible or your belief system. When if you're already thinking and allowing yourself to think and you're still following your Bible, you will realize there was a King Solomon. There was a Job who had great riches and wealth of their consideration back then. Many of your Bible characters were wealthy men, people who had a little change. They were well-to-do. Some of your, gov- matter of fact, your current governing body members all got bread. Where do you think, why do you think they're hiding and misrepresenting the money on this sheet we just saw? Because some of it is going into their pockets. Even your older guys, Charles Taze Russell, he was the printing press magnate of that time, making hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's millions of dollars or, or tens of millions of dollars today. Money has always been an integral part of any business, but especially the Jehovah's Witness organization, and there is no reason why you shouldn't follow suit. Ladies and gentlemen, until next week, first week of March, keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, and your brains working. I'll see you next week.